this antique buffet was a Craigslist score and had been sitting in my garage for several years unclaimed. One of my customers saw me advertise that it was available for customization and knew it would be perfect against a large blank wall she had in her home. There were a few cosmetic details she wanted to change, but she could see the endless potential just like I could. A unique feature and honestly one of the coolest things about this piece is the secret door hidden underneath. Since this is a buffet, it's meant to be used in a formal dining room and the hidden storage is the perfect spot to discreetly store your valuable silverware and made for easy access during elaborate dinner parties. This piece needs a lot of work, so let's get to it. Buffet. Look at how big this thing is. So the veneer needs to come off. I'm taking my heat gun, which is awesome. This is the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. And I'm just heating up the veneer here and then going with the um, chisel, the wood chisel under there and getting up all of that um, veneer. So let's see if I could do that. I'm gonna turn this off. The tip is usually just really hot so you want to make sure not get <laughs> touch the tip of the wood chisel so see how it's just coming up so easily ah, love it usually everything's really stuck on hard but see that incredible so I have this whole top to do it's like a mile long Wish okay, me luck. I've been scraping it for about 25 minutes and I'm about halfway through now. And I've got all this on the ground. So that's all the veneer and everything. But you could kind of see how, the reason why they put veneer over top of things is because of uh, the poor wood quality of the low. That's how they can get away with these um, pieces. See how like there's all these little pin holes and stuff. But usually the quality of the wood underneath the veneer is not that great. So um, it's still good wood. It's not like press board or anything, but it's just not the best wood. This is where the water damage was. The customer wants it stained, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So let's continue on and see what the final result looks okay, like. Okay, so it took me just a little over an hour to get all of the veneer off. And it's so pretty, except for that. <laughs> um, it also has lots of pitting, which I am not too stoked about. We're gonna figure out a plan. Um, but yeah, look at all this stuff. I'm gonna have to sweep this up and get it in the trash. But um, next, I have to take the veneer off of the drawer because this is, not good either so wish me luck because i'm worried about this detail i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'll figure okay, it out so i figured it out um little detail work is just brad nailed into here so i'm able to take my chisel my very thin one and then just get behind here and then wiggle all around this to loosen it and take it off without breaking it, of course. These are really delicate pieces. There we go, see? Ta-da! So I'll just put this back on once I take the veneer off of this drawer. So that won't be too hard at all.
channel. This is Chris's workshop. We call it the Tiny Wood Shop. And he built this himself and he fixes all my furniture for me before I paint it. So he just built this drop down bench, which is super helpful so that he can build things. So right now, So this piece has officially taken the longest to prep of any of the pieces. It's really long, as you can tell. Plus it needed a lot of work. So, um, you know, I did a lot of filling, a lot of sanding multiple times on this, and now I've primed it twice. So we're really good and we're sealed. Look at how pretty the wood grain looks. I think you could see it in the video, but it's gorgeous. So chocolate on top, soapstone on the bottom. Chris made those legs. Over here I have the drawer that holds the silverware. This is the uh, apron piece on the top. And then these are the doors. So these will all be soapstone. Um, yeah, I don't have the drawers out because those needed some more work. So I'm just gonna paint this and then I'll do the drawers separate. Let's get going on this. the drawers over here there's little pieces of it everywhere but um, I'm now taking the tape off here so I can see what it looks like with the top painted well let's see if it comes off and then I can show you what it looks like there we go so pretty. It looks like a nice, gorgeous stain on the top, except we use chocolate. So we actually painted it, but you still get the beautiful wood grain. Oh, it looks so pretty. Just love it. I think my customer is gonna love it too. It's beautiful. I applied poly then I got some crazy bleed through which you can see here and then when I come around it's a little dark here but oh my gosh look at this so I have to go back over this with shellac and then repaint it because that just does not that's not gonna work for me. And it's not gonna work for my customer either. So um, yeah, it's gotta be just right. So we're gonna make it right. 